Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates a kickboxer, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Let's get it started. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, Kid Dynamite. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Missed with that attempt. Right under the elbow by kick lands. 
Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there unprotected. You got to figure out a way to get your guard up a little bit. Another kick lands to the head there. And let's see if he and his corner can make the proper adjustments defensively to avoid any further head kicks here in this fight. Just misses there with the left. Some nice back and forth action here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Connects with the right. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice head kick. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, he caught the kick. Just misses with the jab. Big kick. Just a slip there. Seconds now to go in round one. Oh, big head kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Final seconds. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for final ones, John. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. And they separate. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, just misses with the kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Goes on. 
beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you train to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Put the corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in the team round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at him drive his shin into the body with that body kick. Wow! Nice punch land over the top. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into the opponent's thigh. Beat the leg up. Nice shot by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I, think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's poured blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick land. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, he lands another strike. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Oh! And he comes through with a big knee. Jab hurt him a little bit. Right hand on point. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Oh, 
All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Still nice body kick land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Flips the punch. Watch these to the body. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. He's hurt bad. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Right punches there. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. Whoa! Oh! He's got him right here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Whoa! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! And he is back up 
Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch. Oh! his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest. At two minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh. Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knocking. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.